Hi boys and girls, I am so excited today to show you how to make the three little mice from mouse paint. Those three little white mice that crawled around on a white piece of paper. These are some of the supplies we'll be using today. We're starting out with this shape. This is going to be a tracer. A tracer is something that you trace. We need three mice, so we're going to put the first mouse all the way to the side of the paper and hold the tracer very still and trace it. Now sometimes the tracer slips. If the tracer moves, you have to stop, put it back in place, and then keep going. Now I want you to see if you can trace three little mice, so one goes in the middle and then the other one goes all the way on the other side of the paper. Now we are going to see if we can do the first mouse together and then you're going to do mouse number two and three all by yourself. So here's how to make a little mouse. First we're using a little bit of gray crayon to do something called shading. Shading is when you change a color and make it just a bit darker. So to make our mouse look like he has like a furry texture we're going to put a little bit of gray right around the edge of that shape. See how that makes it a little bit more three-dimensional, a little bit more realistic? So try that on your first mouse. This is called a pink oil pastel. Oil pastel. We're going to use that for our little mouse's nose. So just put a little pink nose on the end. Next, we're going to give our mouse some eyes with a black marker. So the eyes go right above the nose. They can be just little circles, or you could even put eyelashes on it if you want to. Now, for our mice, we're going to give them ears that are pink using that pink oil pastel. So you just draw a straight line right behind the eyes, and then above, the, above that straight line, draw a big hump, a big bump like an arch shape, it's called an arch, and then take your pink oil pastel and just fill it in. Now let me try the other ear. Now if it's not perfect, that's okay. Art doesn't have to be perfect, you don't have to be perfect, so just try your best. I think I'll give my little mouse some little whiskers coming out of his nose, oh that's so cute. So after you have finished those details, we're going to take our scissors and carefully and slowly cut on the line as best we can. What was that? Don't chop at it. We don't chop the paper. We cut carefully and slowly. And the more we do it, the better we're going to get at it. So just take your time and do your best cutting with the tippy tip tip of your scissors. Oops, go around that nose carefully. What else could my mouse use? Ooh, I've got an idea. How about a little pink tail? Yes, so I'm going to flip my mouse over and remember how to open that glue? You have to grab that orange lid and twist until it pops up. So once it's popped up, check to see if there's dried glue on the end. You might have to take that off. Now for this little mouse, I just want to put a teensy tiny dot where the tail goes. Can you see that? It's not a lot. I'm going to put that little piece of yarn right there. Now I am ready to put more glue on that little mouse and decide where to put him on the paper. You know, the best place for that mouse is probably in one of the white areas. What if I put him right here? Is that a great idea? Eh, I don't think so. I completely covered my orange paint blob. So I'm looking for the white areas to place my mice. I could put him there, but it covers up most of the purple. So what I want to do is find the white spots. And that's where I'm going to put my little mouse. So I'm going to go tap, tap, tap with my glue bottle. What is that? Ah! Woo! That's way too much glue. We don't need that much. We just need little bitty taps. So tap, 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 little dots of glue all over the back of that little mouse. And then you're going to put him in one of the white spaces. And you are going to do mouse number two and mouse number three all by yourself and decide where you'd like to glue it. Thanks for being great listeners. Let's have fun. <laughs> 